Oh, I've just been I've just been talking to the telephone and the video wasn't on. Hold on a minute, I'll start again. So, as I was saying, Mark has cut down the kiwi. It was going absolutely mad. All of that was growing up above the roof. So he's out here earlier doing that, but as a consequence of him cutting the kiwi, there has been lots of kiwi fruit on the ground. Picked a lot of it up, gonna pick some more up in a minute. And the problem is it's too soon. The pe kiwis aren't normally, we don't normally pick them till November, December once the leaves have fallen. Um, so, they're a bit like pears, they ripen off the tree. Um, so I've got to give them a go. So it was at this point, it was at this point, I realised I'd been talking to the phone and not to you. So, and I started adjusting this. Yeah. So I was saying I've struggled all day to try to keep my eyes open. I am really, really, I don't know why I'm really struggling. Um, and it's not to do with, I know it's not to do with um, high blood sugar because I've got one of these on that came yesterday, which is a continuous glucose monitor. And it's been monitoring my glucose since yesterday. And my glu glucose has just been pottering along at a really good level until this evening, until we had our last meal at six. Um, because I've not got back onto the sourdough, because I've been recovering from our visitors, uh, we had a baguette, and baguette's the worst thing you can have. And I had Marmite on it, but I had a small piece with jam on it, and that just went, my blood sugar just went whoosh. But I knew it would, and that's fine. Um, you know, it's not something, I don't normally eat jam. It was what I fancied. So yeah, um, I'm not sure. Not sure why I'm tired. Um, I have. I've, I've been toying with, shall I or shan't I say this or talk about this? And I feel I want to. It's um, it's it's shaken me quite a bit, and it shouldn't do because this person is very distant from me in some respects. But she's um, was my grandson's aunt and um, a few days ago she committed suicide from hanging and it was really shocking to hear it and she was a single mum in her probably her mid 40s and um, my first my first reaction was how do you do that how I can't imagine what what happens when you reach that point it must be terrifying absolutely terrifying and my second thoughts then were her children she's got a 20 year old an 18 year old and a 10 year old and now they have a GoFundMe to try and raise money for her funeral expenses <laughs> like you know they've just lost their mom and now they've got to try and find the money to bury her um, so I think my grandsons have gone down there today. They're down in Cornwall somewhere. I think they've gone down today. Um, but it's just, it's just terrific, isn't it? It's just very, very sad. And I don't know why. Uh, I don't know what the lead up was. Um, and I know that I've spoken to people before who, because I, I you know, I struggle to understand how you can leave people behind um, because the people left behind are absolutely devastated and will never ever get over your loss and how they lost you um, and I've spoken to people before who have been suicidal um, and I've said how you know how how do you get to that place where you 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 know you are gonna you'll leave your family who are going to be devastated and and they've said to me that that they feel 
that actually everybody would be better off without them and they get to such a dark place that they're not actually then aware of how this will impact on everybody else it's it's more about this is going to be better for everybody else and they'll be better off without me and it's like no they won't <laughs> no they won't so yeah that's I've been obsessing about it a bit really or, or dwelling on it and I sort of think you know she isn't related to me she's related to my grandsons um, I hardly knew her um, but at the same time it, the, the what 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 I'm feeling is is the the impact on my you know for for my grandsons who you know are coming up to 18 and 20 and, and facing something very adult and I know that when you get to 18 and 20 you think um, you are adults and you, you feel that you're you know you've got it together and you're adults but something like this you you know to face something like this is 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 too adult isn't it really you don't need it you really don't need it so i hope that they're all finding solace in each other down there today um and that they raise enough money for the funeral and then they probably have to find um, rent for the house that they're living in because i don't think i don't think there's a lot of money around and i, I think they live in rented accommodation so that'll be their next task will be to accommodate themselves so I think that's probably why I haven't vlogged because I've wanted to say something and I've not wanted to dramatize something that or trigger anybody but at the same time I've wanted to say um, this is this is what's going on and, and um, just think it through a little bit so yeah that's what I'm doing that's what I've done it's, it's, I don't know what time it is, it's about half seven um, and um, I'm going to go back in now, go and put the chickens away in a bit and hopefully tomorrow I can keep my eyes open. I think we might be going to look for a new car tomorrow. We've given up waiting, we wanted, um, wanted to replace our car with um, another Turan but um, I don't think they've got well, we just keep looking and they haven't got any, so I think we're going to look for um, something else. So I think we might be going tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. We discussed it. Well, we talked about it, but Mark was playing loud music. So I thought, well, I ain't discussing it with this, this row going on. Are you doing that quietly? Coming out here, sitting in my garden. This is the man that put all the kiwis on the ground. Some of them. Yeah. Anyway. I thought we weren't going to bother with them. But I can't, I just can't leave stuff like that. It feels, it feels wasteful. I have to give it a go. Give okay. Chutney. Well, you make some chutney. Bloody labour intensive chutney. You got Mrs. Ball's chutney. They bought you Mrs. Ball's. Okay. You don't need any more chutney. Okay, that's the end of this vlog. I'm going to go and sit with him now, see what he wants. Yeah, let's sit.